What's up guys, you're watching another day tech, I'm Rahul Sedi and in this video, I'm going to unbox the Redmi 6. This smartphone is placed between the Redmi 6A which is a cheaper phone, comes at 5999 and the Redmi 6 Pro, the more expensive one that comes with a notch and priced at 10999. So the Redmi 6 is placed between them and we have the 3GB, 32GB variant that is priced at 7999. There's also a 64GB variant of this phone and that you can get at 9499. Let's quickly unbox the phone and we'll also take a look at the full specs. A major difference is that the phone now comes with a MediaTek chipset unlike the Redmi 5 that had the Snapdragon chip and also if you take a look at the specs written at the back you'll see it has a dual camera. A 5.45 inch display similar to the Redmi 6A and there's a fingerprint scanner on board as well. Alright, let's quickly pull it out. So we have the gold variant that has a white front and let's remove the stickers and take a look at the build quality of the phone. It has a metal back like previous phones but it's just a metal plate and back is not fully metal. You'll see plastic inserts at the top and the bottom. In fact the frame fully is made out of plastic and it's not metal but yes the buttons have a very good tactile feedback and the build quality seems to be pretty amazing. Also, you'll see it has an 18 to 9 screen with thin bezels and it looks like a smaller Redmi Note 5 Pro. The design is very similar to that phone, but it feels slightly thicker than the Redmi 6A if you compare them side by side. Now let's quickly take a look at the box contents. You get a user guide at first and then there is a warranty information leaflet you get a micro USB cable similar to the Redmi 6A which has good length but it's not of very good quality and you get 5 watt travel adapter looks big but is not a fast charger it has just 5 watt of output rating like all Xiaomi phones you don't really get earphones in the box let's quickly pull out the card slots and they're very similar to the Redmi 6A a SIM 1 slot at the bottom and a SIM 2 and micro SD card slot above that let's quickly set up the phone and meanwhile you take a look at the full specs of the Redmi 6. So I've set up the Redmi 6 and this is how the interface looks like. It is built on the MIUI 9.6 which is based on the Android 8.1, the latest one. And you'll see the features are very much similar. You get a full screen display option when you can replace the buttons with gestures to get a full screen display. Though this option is available in most phones. The keyboard style is also a little different. Looks inspired from a Samsung keyboard, but nonetheless, something different from the previous MIUI version. You also get a second space option, an option to add dual apps and a built-in app lock system. Now on the home screen you will see there are a lot of third-party apps that you wouldn't find on previous phones. You get preloaded Microsoft apps, there's a UC browser and there are Xiaomi's own featured apps. The resolution of the display is same as that of the Redmi 6A so you won't really notice a lot of difference in the color production or the clarity although the contrast appears to be slightly better and that you can see if you compare them side by side. You'll see the Redmi 6 has slightly better contrast and color reproduction and there is no change in the color when you rotate the display. The Redmi 6 appears to have slightly better color reproduction and slightly better contrast. This is the difference we saw on the Redmi Note 5 and the Note 5 Pro although they had same resolution. Probably due to a different panel they had different contrast and brightness levels. But again performance is something that needs thorough testing again on the Redmi 6A as well. As you will see, YouTube has slight lags when you're minimizing the display and the multitasking is also not very fast. For now, let's move on to the cameras. The Redmi 6A. The Redmi 6 has better pair of cameras compared to the Redmi 6A. The Redmi 6 has better pair of cameras compared to the Redmi 6A. Let's click a photo and... Okay, I see the lag is very similar to the Redmi 6A and it takes quite a while for the photo to appear in the gallery. There's a fair amount of beautification and there is a lot of pixelation if you zoom in 
So the resolution is not very good, but yes, you do get a good, but yes, you do get a good amount of light, and the color reproduction appears to be near to accurate. Let's check the rear camera now, which has 12 megapixel primary sensor and secondary sensor as well that will give you portrait shots. You'll see the autofocus on the camera is quite fast, which is uh, great for this price. But yes, you also get sharp photos. If you zoom in, you'll see the clarity and detailing on the camera is quite nice. So the Redmi 6 appears to be a nice, well-built and ergonomic smartphone that tries to give you great value for money and a great display as well. But we'll have to check the performance thoroughly because they are coming with new MediaTek chipsets. That is something that we need to test out. Also, we'll let you know the battery backup and charging times of the smartphone. So do subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the full review. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Thank you for watching.